Hi Ash class, time for another story. This one's called, what's that word there? The, well done if you recognise that one. The Pencil. And it's another story by Alan Olberg. And this time the illustrator is Bruce Ingman. Now, do you remember in Bear Hunt, the bear had a magic pencil. And when, or maybe the bear was magic, but whenever he drew with his pencil, it came to life, didn't it? It became real. This story is quite similar, but this time it's the pencil that does all the drawing. I hope you enjoy it. Once there was a pencil, a lonely little pencil and nothing else. It lay there, which was nowhere in particular, for a long, long time. Then one day, that little pencil made a move, shivered slightly, quivered somewhat, and began to draw. <gasps> What's it going to draw? The pencil. The pencil drew a boy. What's my name? said the boy. Uh, Banjo, said the pencil. Good, said Banjo. Draw me a dog. What do you think he should have said after that? Please. The pencil drew a dog. What's my name? barked the dog. Uh, Bruce, said the pencil. Excellent, said Bruce. Draw me a cat. The pencil hesitated. That means he waited. Please, said Bruce. So then the pencil drew a cat named Mildred. And Bruce, of course, chased Mildred. Oh dear, Mildred does look a little bit nervous. And Banjo chased Bruce. Round and round the house which the pencil drew, up and down the road which the pencil drew, and in and out of the park which the pencil drew. They ran around for a long, long time, getting hot and bothered, tired and grumpy and hungry. Draw me an apple, said Banjo. Draw me a bone, barked Bruce. Draw me a mouse, meowed Mildred. No, said the pencil, no mouse. All right, cat food then, meowed Mildred. Only then, we can't eat this. Apple, yelled Banjo. Bone, barked Bruce. Cat food, meowed Mildred. It's black and white. The pencil hesitated frowned, looked thoughtful for a while, and drew... What do you think the pencil's going to draw? A paintbrush! What's my name? said the paintbrush. Uh, Kitty, said the pencil. Splendid, said Kitty. How can I help? After that, Kitty painted the apple and the bone and the cat food. She painted Banjo and Bruce, but not Mildred. Mildred was a black and white cat anyway. She painted the house and the road and the park. What next? cried the now cheerful and excited pencil. Anything! yelled Kitty. She was excited too. You draw it and I'll colour it. So they did. Banjo got a little sister named Elsie and a mum and dad named Mr and Mrs. Some grandmas and grandpas, three or four cousins and an uncle Charlie. Bruce got a friend, an Airedale named Polly and a ball. What's my name? said the ball. Don't be silly, said the pencil. The ball made a sad face. All right then, Sebastian, said the pencil. Then all of a sudden, trouble! Banjo kicked Sebastian, oh, into the air and broke a window. Polly ran off with Bruce's bone. What's my name? said the bone. One of Mildred's kittens, which she had just asked for, got stuck up a tree. And everybody was grumpy and starting to complain. Can you spot the kitten in the tree? If you look very, very carefully, you can just see its ears poking out there. Oh look, and there's the shadow of the tree that the pencil has drawn as well. 
This hat looks silly, said Mrs. My ears are too big, said Mr. I shouldn't be smoking a pipe, said Grandpa. Get rid of these ridiculous trainers, yelled Elsie. The pencil hesitated, frowned, looked worried for a while, quivered somewhat and drew a rubber. After that, the rubber, as you might expect, rubbed things out, hats and ears and such. The pencil and the paintbrush drew and painted them again. Everybody was happy. How can we tell they're all happy? That's right, they're all smiling now, aren't they? Only then, more trouble. The rubber rubbed other things out. He was excited too. He rubbed the table out and the chair out and the rug out. Oh no, look, he's fallen down because the rug has rubbed everything out. And the front door out and the house out. Oh no, look, he's rubbed the house out. The house is gone. He rubbed the tree out and the kitten, who was still up it, out and the other kittens out and the cousins and the grandmas and Uncle Jolly out, out, out. I bet you recognised those words, didn't you, Emeralds? He rubbed the road out and the park out and the sky out. He rubbed everything, even Kitty the paintbrush, out. Oh dear, I think he's a bit of a naughty rubber. Now, once more, there was only the pencil, that lonely little pencil, and nothing else. Uh-oh, what do you think's going to happen? The rubber kept on coming. The pencil drew a wall to stop him. The rubber rubbed it out. Oh, poor pencil. He drew a cage to keep him in. What did the rubber do? The rubber rubbed it out. Oh, what do you think pencil should do? He drew a river and some mountains, lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, the rubber rubbed them out. Then when all seemed lost and there was absolutely no escape, that brave and clever little pencil quivered somewhat, shivered slightly and drew. What do you think he's going to draw next? Another rubber. What's that rubber going to do? You guessed it. And what did these two rubbers do? Their names were Ronald and Rodney, by the way. Yes, of course, as you will surely guess, they rubbed each other out. After that, of course, of course, the pencil drew Banjo and Bruce, Mildred and the others all over again, and Kitty, he drew her as well, coloured them in. He put the sun back in the sky, the house back on the road, the kitten back up the tree, the grass back in the park, and a picnic, a lovely brand new picnic out on the grass. The picnic lasted for a long time. Banjo played football with Sebastian, oh, and his little cousins. Banjo's dad tried eating a boiled egg named Billy, but it ran off. A whole column of ants. What's our names? said the ants came marching across the tablecloth. Look, here they all are. Alice, Alvy, Abraham, Amy, Araminta, Alberic, Algernon, Anastasia, Ada, Alan. What do they all begin with? A, ah, that's right. Finally, the sun went down. The eating and the games and the adventures came to a stop and everybody and everything went home to bed. The pencil drew a moon in the sky and some darkening hills and Kitty the paintbrush painted them. He drew a snug little box with a cosy lining and Kitty painted that. She painted him too. <gasps> the end. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. I love the ending of them snug in their box that they've drawn for themselves. Bye for now, Ash Class.